Thank you, Alex. I'm joined now by Carrie Hefner with the LSU Ag Center for this week's In the Garden. With all the rain, maybe you've noticed something unsightly uh, around your flowers or <laughs> mm -hmm. in your gardens, and that would be fungi. Right, particularly foliar fungi, and our recent and more frequent rains uh, mean that foliar fungi are on the rise in our gardens and landscapes. And I was out and about in Monroe yesterday, Ashley, and I found this uh, wonderful example of, of uh, azalea leaf gall, only this is on camellia. This is the fungus exobacidium. And uh, if you're seeing this right now on your camellias, it's nothing to worry about. It just makes the plant look a little uh, unsightly. Uh, all you have to do is just prune that off, drop it in a garbage bag or something like that and dispose of it. Don't let it fall to the ground uh, or that's where the, that's where the spores will be. And um, that's it. It's not gonna pose a big threat to your camellias. And then if we move over to the vegetable garden, we see something like early blight. Uh, this is what early blight looks like on a tomato plant very um, distinctive concentric rings on the plant and um, uh, we will usually occur on the bottom most leaves first and incidentally those bottom most leaves are also the oldest leaves, the first formed leaves, and they're gonna be the first leaves to die away as the plant grows too. I get a lot of questions about that. Mm -hmm. But all you have to do there is simply pinch those uh, leaves off, dispose of them, and don't forget to put a layer of mulch under your plants, whether it's in the vegetable garden or the ornamental bed. A layer of mulch will provide a barrier between the soil and the foliage, so soil that may be infected with fungal spores doesn't get splashed up onto the leaves by our rains, uh, mm -hmm. by, by the rains, and um, mulches also help conserve soil moisture, so you won't have to water as frequently. Uh, mulches will help reduce weeds as well and help keep those down. It won't eradicate them, but it will help reduce weeds and uh, will help regulate soil temperature too when we get into the hottest part of the season. So um, it's important to space the plants out in your landscape, give them plenty of room to grow so these breezes that we're having can keep mm -hmm. the fungal spores, keep them blowing right on through so they don't pose a problem. Is there a certain type of mulch that you recommend? The LSU Ag Center recommends pine straw, but anything will work. We get asked all the time, will pine straw work even in the vegetable garden? And the answer is absolutely. It's a wonderful mulch. It will break down and add organic matter to your soil too. Easy so. to find mm -hmm. as well. Thank you so much, okay. Carrie. And up next on Louisiana Living, Brittany Liner and Melissa Baldwin with the Northeast Louisiana Arts Council are here with all the details on this year's blend. That's after the break. Stay with us. Trade names are used by the LSU Ag Center for clarity and information purposes only. Neither commercial endorsement of specific products nor a recommendation to the exclusion of similar products is implied.